everybody, it's Chef Jim Gaffigan here with another quarantine cooking class. Let's get cooking. What I'm gonna make now is what I call my hot dogs and eggs scrambler. First, you're gonna start with some hot dogs, usually from the night before. Now, what I like to do is I like to cut them up. You can grab any knife. I don't really know the difference between the knives in the kitchen, but we chop this up like that. And these are hot dogs. They can be different types of sausages. You just chop that piece up. Keep your hand away. You don't want to chop off a finger. Because, by the way, that looks a little bit like fingers. Anyway, I have no idea what's in hot dogs, but we're going to put it in eggs. So then you put all that stuff in there. The cutting board is near the sink because you dump all the crumbs in there and then your wife cleans it up later. So yeah, I'm, I'm a, a master chef. But you know what? Underneath this hat is, well, it's a, there's a lot of brains and um, not a lot of hair. But underneath this hat is, is someone else. You know, as a chef, I'm Chef Jim, but you take off the hat and I'm, I'm just dad. I'm just dad. All business, you know, ready for some fun. Business, fun business, business fun, fun business, business fun. So come on, now down here, come on over here. Okay, so step one, you gotta get a pan. And you gotta get your chopped up or diced or minced hot dog or sausage or ham or just bologna. You put that there, but first we gotta come over here. We gotta spray the pan. Coconut oil, I don't know what that is. I don't even know coconuts. <laughs> anyway, we'll put that there and then we'll just dump this in. And by the way, what I'm doing in here is, look at that, look at that. Can you hear that, Tom? Mm -hmm. Well, it's not making any noise, but that's a beauty. Here, take a look at those kids, how excited they are. So what we're gonna do now, what I call break some eggs. Now, this is not something everyone can do, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna scramble the eggs. I just need a bowl. Here, I could use the same hot dog bowl. If you put the eggs in the bowl where there was the hot dog meat, it'll influence the eggs. It'll make the eggs better. Boom, one. Let's get cooking. I always say that after every uh, egg or so. It's kind of my, uh, I would say my good luck charm. I like to make four eggs. You know what's interesting about eggs? Sometimes I'll make eggs for my kids and they just won't eat them, but a boom. Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. Now normally what I'll like to do is put a dab of milk in there. But we're all out of milk because we're on quarantine. But now what I like to do is get a fork and let's get cooking, let's get cooking, let's get cooking. Some people might think it's weird to talk to eggs. It's not weird to talk to the eggs. Let's get cooking, let's get cooking. Let's get cooking, let's get cooking, let's get cooking, let's get cooking, let's get cooking. But that's not to say that I'm not a fun chef. Uh, you know, there'll be auctions where you'll auction off, Jim will cook for you. People just so associate me with fun that people won't even bid on it. They're like, that's, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, I remember I was at an auction. I was like, you know what? I'll cook for three couples, you know, start the bidding at $20,000 and no one bid. But I knew that it was a compliment in a way, you know what I mean? I knew that people were like, hey, that guy's so fun, I don't wanna pay for it. I think that I wanna I wanted just hang out with him and then I'll donate even more money than I would raise. So that's what I realized. Here's something I do that a lot of people don't know about, is I'll add the salt before we even cook the eggs. I'll just mix that in there. Gives a little flavor, gives a little of uh, I mean, it is, look at how excited those pigs are. Wow. You guys ready for eggs? Yeah. Okay, let's see how we're doing with our hot dogs. Ooh, yeah, that's a beauty. I like to crank up the heat. Uh, listen to that hum. Um, mmm, um, um. That's, it sounds like I'm doing it, but it's really the hot dogs. Um, let's get cooking. Okay. I'm gonna take this scrambled, I mean the eggs, 
And this is just amazing. This is science for you, right? I'm gonna pour this right in. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do it like that. You know, there's some people make an omelet, some people make a frittata, some people make uh, other things. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make scrambled eggs. So what I do, oh, that's a little high. But no sense in wasting time. I like to cook at a high temperature because we're all busy here. Even though we're in a quarantine and we're never gonna leave our houses again. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And so where it's wet, or uncooked, I'll try and get that more cooked. That's perfectly fine. Here's something I do. The same bowl that I scrambled the eggs in, I'll put it back in there, and here's why. I like a wet egg, that's what she said. You know, a lot of people ask me, they're like, Jim, why are you so good at cooking? Why can't I be like you? And some of it is just people are born with gifts. Some people, like me, are good chefs and good looking and wow. And that's how you make these eggs. Come on over, let's see how they respond. Watch the enthusiasm. Bonjour. Would you like some some of my la hot dog eggs? Sure. Who makes the best hot dog eggs? I'm looking at it right now. That's right, I hope you're looking at me. Mikey, what do you say about that, huh? It's a very international cuisine. One. Let's get cooking. Can I, can you guys give me one of those? Let's get cooking. 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 Let's get All right, so then what I like to do is I'll eat some of the eggs. The weird thing about scrambled eggs for kids is you never know if you make the right amount. What if I told you that those hot dogs and those eggs were, what if I told you those were from last night? Would you believe it? Yeah. Oh. It's a plus. I never finish anything. Have you ever had eggs as good as these? Well, we've made these before. Yeah. So, yeah. Ooh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea of something the French do. Hold on a second. Hold your horses. We're out of bed. Ah, the French, you know what they don't do? They don't put ketchup on their eggs because uh, during quarantine, it's bad luck. Why are you wearing a red apron? Because this is, uh, this was actually given to me by my, uh, my teacher, uh, Maranelli. Ah, yes. That was fun, right? Let's get cooking. Hit the subscribe button down below and then We'll get back to cooking. Let's get cooking. That's how you cut, right?